Hello and welcome back everyone to part 2 of our 3 video series about the landscaping project at our cabin in the Canadian Rockies. If you missed part 1, I have put a card link that should appear at the top right hand side of your screen that I recommend you watch to give you an idea of what we are trying to achieve with this project. In this episode, we start the cleanup of some of the overgrown meadows, design some garden paths and go for a walk around the property to show you some of the progress and ideas of our informal cottage garden creation. If you are wondering about the wildlife we find around our cabin, well, make sure that you watch till the end for some great photos and clips about all that. Well, wildflower meadows. So to uh, get into blue. You can see there's uh, lots of pollinators. Yep, got a few bumblebees. Some of the oxide daisies. A little bit. Some yarrow here. Butterflies love it. They were cleared a pad here. Our general contractor is just coming in tomorrow and they're going to put a shed up, so we do need it. So, yeah. And see it looks a little bit tidier. Of course, yeah. got a few things to do. This was uh, largely overgrown. So what we are going to do here is do like a nice garden bed. All right, uh, slight change of plan here. So I'll just ad lib this part as we were going to create more pathways and a seating area, but uh, we decided against it. Uh, we thought this section should be kept as a grass prairie with large trees and shrubs and ornamental grasses to create a bit of a transition between our land and the neighbor's property that is currently being cleared and built on, as you can see with the earthworks on the left-hand side of the screen. Still keep lots of uh, wildflower meadows. It's just like most of the uh, things that have been cut out and slashed and removed were many weeds. So we only kept the best bits. Okay. We just done a little bit of uh, cleaning up here. Karen has been uh, using uh, vinegar in a ditch, trying to kill most of the weeds, but I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a uh, losing battle, but at least if we can maintain, I'll try to suppress them a little bit, that would be probably the best way to do it. Um, here are mowed a little bit of a path um, there's a couple of tarps down there that's where we are going to put the mulch and the topsoil to make the garden bed so it make it a little bit easier to uh, to actually access a 
yeah, that area was pretty much overgrown like that so i thought well we'll keep the, those nice little oxide daisy clump and i'm a sucker for wildflowers so i did not want to cut all the beautiful white yarrow here so i thought i'd keep keep that that way so yeah so everything is going to go on there and then from there we'll uh, get the dump cart and pretty much yeah do the do the borders here again last october we planted a few few bushes like there's a um, dogwood here and as you can see there's there were some arises and some tulips here but they pretty much uh, spent at the moment so I will uh, tidy them up a bit later uh, same thing here we'll, we'll just cut a three meter a ten feet uh, swath um, so we're gonna do some nice borders we're gonna try to put some uh, Russians uh, yeah Russian sage uh, some salvias possibly some cat mint some bee balm monadas uh, so we got a few hummingbirds around so hopefully they'll like it uh, this morning we basically uh, did this a bit of a sitting area reason we've done this is pretty much if you have a look up we get beautiful views of the mountains and yeah it's a nice area so we're gonna make it a little bit accessible and eventually those uh, maple trees um, autumn blaze maple trees I think yeah they are um, they'll get about 50 feet tall and about 30 feet wide so that'll make it a nice shady area too as well so as you can see the path will go from here from the house up to this sitting area it's not looking like much at the moment but uh, we're just waiting for the delivery of uh, the crushed gravel um, started to uh, line the path with some uh, river rocks what we could find around the yard and we've got some more coming in anyway so hopefully it'll look all right um, what I've done here is also a second path that uh, goes on top of the uh, septic field and all that will be cleaned up a bit and then we're going to uh, plant some uh, more wildflowers next year uh, it's a bit late in the season now so probably won't be able to do it um, yeah that's pretty much it so here as well we're going to do a few garden beds a few borders to make it look uh, a little bit tidier Karen enjoying a bit of a rest. It's actually quite warm today. Yeah. And uh, Karen had this idea the other day. Said, "What well, don't we cut a little path and uh, do a little clearing?" Um, so we've done that. So we're going to get a, a little table or a big stump just put it here so it'll be it'll look actually okay I reckon you can come here and in the shade and make sure you get a bit of buck spray but yeah uh, as you can see there's it's a bit overgrown so I just got through the bushes but yeah there's uh, lots of little wildflowers so we'll keep on that theme and uh, keep the uh, meadow look as natural as we can um, whilst planting like a, a few borders to keep it nice and tidy there's a little pad here where 
as you see we have a portable fire pit so we just you know clear it a bit so we don't set the whole place on fire especially at the moment it's been very very dry so yeah so we kept all this area pretty much natural meadows uh, this is part of the uh, shed uh, materials that we have left over from the uh, construction of the house so yeah the guys are going to come in tomorrow and start on that uh, do that project so yeah that looks pretty cool <laughs> so yeah here's a little bit of a tour of the house We'll keep on filming later uh, once uh, we do a bit more work and uh, hopefully it'll be all good. <laughs> 